Charlotte and Tim, we're all following this story. I think anybody who's a parent, anybody who has a heart, feels your pain. And we just wonder how this will ever reach a conclusion or a satisfactory conclusion. Do you think your American trip achieved anything? I think so. You know, um, we'd, we'd done a few interviews whilst in London with some of the American channels. Um, so word was starting to get out, but we needed to go over there and really, really tell our story directly to them. And did um, that include telling it directly to Mrs. Sekoulos? Um, Had not you thought on about US that? soil. Um, no. Not on US That was soil. never part of the plan? No. no. So you went out initially, as you said, to do some of the, the TV networks. You felt this story needed to be taken to yeah. the American people so they knew what had happened. Yes. Um, how then did the to the invitation to the White House and to meet President Trump come about? We done a big pre uh, press conference, didn't we, on the Monday afternoon, okay. so just the first day, really, of, of media. And we were doing an interview the next morning, um, and Rad, our spokesperson, stroke friend, um, had a phone call from, from someone at the White House to just say, can you get up here as soon as possible? And by up, up here meant you were in New York, yes, literally. Yeah. You haven't got a big entourage, you haven't got people yeah. escorting no. you, you haven't got representation from the Foreign Office. Nothing. Nothing. So Whatever. we were straight on the train. You were on a train, ride. the yeah. cameras followed you. Yes, they did. Unbelievable when you think of it, you were heading to the White House to mm. talk about your boy yes. to the President of the United States. Well, we didn't know it was the President when we got on the train. We were just told it was a senior official, so it wasn't until we actually got to the White House that we knew it was going to be the president. Mm. And tell us how that, that meeting went. Who, were you waiting for him? Did he come in? Did he talk directly to you straight away? Um, we were welcomed into the Oval Room um, and he was there with a big group of people. Um, got to admit, I didn't have a clue who any of the rest of them were. Um, he was very gracious, very welcoming, um, warm, um, which doesn't really go with his reputation. So we were... There were no actual pictures of that. Surprised. Why were there Why were there no pictures taken of that? Um, we, there were photos, were photos taken photos. after the meeting, but they've obviously chosen not to release those. Um, there was a photographer in the room. Um, but he was, he was warm, he was gracious. Um, but it was within a couple of minutes of being in there that Robert O'Brien who was sat next to him, the NSA. So he's the security, national security yeah. advisor, American. Yeah, um, when, the, when President Trump first mentioned that Anne Skoulis was in the building or the, the lady involved was in the building, um, Rad said, you know, we're not willing to meet with her today. Um, and Robert O'Brien said she is never coming back to the UK and he was quite aggressive. Tim, how response. did that feel to hear those words? To be honest with you, I mean, I, I wasn't surprised or shocked because it's, it's been like a whirlwind these last 10, 15 days. Uh, and to be in the White House as we were, uh, it, it didn't surprise me. We, on the train journey down, we come up with all different scenarios that might happen when we get into the White House. And as strange as it may seem, uh, my sister-in-law text my wife to say, do you think Anne will be there? And we hadn't even thought about it, had we? So we sort of prepped ourselves for the, what could be the strangest meeting. It could be meeting the president and he would say Anne's here. And it did turn out like that. So... When they, are, when they told you that she was there and um, they would like to facilitate a meeting between the two of you, uh, was no your your reaction straight, straight away yeah. or did immediately you no. why, why 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 didn't you take it because we'd set out right from the beginning and we'd made a promise to Harry and a promise to ourselves that we would get justice done on UK soil now obviously we thought that was going to be very very straightforward when we made that promise to him in the hospital the night we lost him um, because the evidence was already there that she was very much on his side of the road um, we had no idea it would come to this scale, but we'd made that promise to him that night after we'd lost him. And we will continue to make that promise. And if justice is going to be done, it needs to be on UK soil, in a room. You know, if we meet her, we need therapists around us. 
and her. Mm -hmm. We need mediators, you know, mm -hmm. to, to just be thrown you want together. To see in court. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yes, of course. Cause we do now. She's committed a crime accidentally. We we know that, but yeah. she killed our son, and she must. Has to, she has to come back for yeah. that. They were very aware that we were going to work with the police right from the off to get her sentence reduced as much as we could to hopefully a suspended so that we didn't take her away from her children. Um, but we're now nearly eight weeks in yeah. to having lost him and we, she's had all this time to come forward. How Charlotte, this is... And, and Tim, you must realise now this is not about justice, this is not about the rule of law. Has it... Does it Outtrace. feel like it's politics? Oh. Mm -hmm. It's politics to you, and this is a rude awakening for you mm -hmm. that maybe you're not going to win against politics. Yeah. Yeah, we have thought about that. We have thought about it, but we're not going to give up. You know, we... we if justice means not getting her back, but getting the truth, truth, then that's what justice will be. The truth being... Who made the decision for her to go? Why did she think it was right? decision to go um when did she go you know who was involved because we have been told so many mm. different things absolutely it's been you know crazy. we've we've been lied to um, we were told she had immunity then she didn't have immunity then her husband was a diplomat that gave her the immunity then he's a spy so he doesn't have immunity the uh, foreign Commonwealth office put in two waivers to get her back and then a week later they tell us she didn't have immunity anyway so when the Foreign Secretary says, our hearts go out to you, but we will do everything we can to clear the path so that you can get justice, do you believe that? Or how hollow are those words? After our meeting with Dominic Rabb, I'm, I'm very sceptical about that. I, I don't know. He, he, I, all I can see is they've just lied to us. He even admitted holding, tasking the police to hold the information back from us. Really? Yeah. Why have the police not charged her? I mean, they also... They allowed her to leave the country without informing you, the Northamptonshire Police. Yeah, we do not know. We don't know. We haven't been told. So where does, where does this leave you, then? I mean, this seems to be a whole conspiracy and you, you've got the US authorities, however sympathetic or empathetic President Trump may mm. be, he's not necessarily pulling the strings here, is he? No, no. I don't think so. We're seeing uh, the Chief of Police on Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, we're seeing Emily Thornbury tomorrow, tomorrow. afternoon. Shout out for a second. Yeah. Yes. How are the two of you? The, the, the pain of losing um, your son must be so, so raw, as you said, um, Tim, it's only a few weeks. Uh, how are you finding the strength to do all the things you're doing, to sit here even today? Due to the promise to Harry. Yeah. That it's, it's, it's that simple. You know, we, we as a family have, have raised our children to be as honest as the day is long. You make a promise, you don't break it. Um, he fought for his rights. When he knew he was in the right, he would make sure that everyone knew about yeah. it. Um, and he would make sure that if somebody was wrong, they knew they were wrong. And that promise we made to him that night is what's giving us the fire to keep going and that extra feeling of just knowing yeah. something isn't right yeah. here. There's yeah. lots of it, things it, it terribly is... wrong. Uh, uplifting, it's heartening to see you as a family, you two, in case people don't know, you two separated, divorced many, many, many years ago. Uh, you've, you've both got uh, different partners now, but as a family, you are together backstage mm. um, here today on the programme, and you, you speak as one, you speak as the parents of this lad mm -hmm. uh, who you have lost, yeah. and there seems to be a great love and a great respect that is keeping you all together, which is exemplary, really. Yeah. We've always always done it, haven't we? We've... The boys were approximately a year old when we split up and we both met our new partners quite soon afterwards. So for the last 18 years, we have worked together as a set of four parents to make sure that these two boys, these twin boys in the middle, didn't get used as pawns. Um, and how is... His Nile, <sighs> like us, coping hour to hour. Um, you don't know how you're going to cope each morning. You wake up, you get that same gripping nausea, overwhelming pain. Yeah. When you wake up in the morning, if you've even slept, um, he's getting the same. You don't know how you're going to get through the day. You just keep breathing and you keep, you just keep going. 
and, and you, you keep, keep going strong. to get justice for Harry. Mm -hmm. And to that end, Charlotte and Tim have a, a GoFundMe page um, to support their campaign. Justice for Harry is that GoFundMe page and you will go for as long as it takes. But I have to say to you, it takes what? It doesn't look very promising, does it? That, that the politicians are going to roll over and say, yeah, we'll make sure justice is done because that's not the way it works. No. No, it doesn't look that promising, but um, uh, we've got lawyers. There's, there's lawyers are that. talking now, so we, 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 we will get the truth. That is our, yeah. that's our aim and that's what we will do. We won't stop until we get the truth of what happened to Harry that night and why she was allowed to leave. Yeah. And you can't allow it to happen to anyone else. And if we don't do something about it now mm -hmm. and get the truth out there now, what, it could happen what again. What about Mrs Salukas? Is there anything... I know you didn't speak to her. She's not here in this room, mm. you know, for those emotions to interchange and whatever, but one would assume she is suffering mm. as well. What would you say to her to help bring all this to closure? Like we've said all along, just get on the plane and come back to the UK. You know, we're, we, we're not horrible people. Our feelings obviously have changed a little bit over the last few weeks um, because time is rolling on and we feel that the more we're out here telling our story, we would have hoped that would have been enough for her to have just done the right thing as a human and come back and face us and face the justice system yeah. and we would have still worked with the justice system but that may all now be out of our control. We don't know where we stand on that. And to be honest, because we, we our hopes of meeting her have got quite slim, I don't know how we'd feel if we heard she was coming back now. We would probably as a family still be open to meeting her. We know she's got to be suffering. Two of the children were in the car. They've got to be so extremely traumatised. I can't even begin to imagine no. how they're going to move on with their life unless she does do the right thing and face up to what she's done. Yeah. Charlotte and Tim, I wish we could give you more comfort. Um, thank you so much for talking to you. So many no, people you. admire you and, and, and send you their love um, as well and their sympathy. Definitely. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you both thank very much indeed. So much. Thank you. Uh, justice for Harry, that's all they want.